Hello, everyone. Welcome to Demystifying Gay Porn. My name is Ike Grande. And if you watch gay porn, I've definitely helped to get off. It is that time of the month where we do open lines. Open lines where we speak to uh, fans of the podcast, anybody with a fetish, a kink, a turn on that kind of wants to talk to us and, and demystify that on the podcast. This is something that I've been very interested in talking about. Uh, I didn't know how until somebody approached me. I got a message from a fan on Instagram who wanted to talk about being turned on by small dicks. And by small dicks, that's small dicks in porn, small dicks in general. We'll ask him now, how small is this turn on? How small are these dicks? Um, and <laughs> how, how small would they have to be? So I'm fascinated because I come from a world of, you know, big dicks, big dicks, big dicks all over the place. So a small dick here and there, it's, it's a, a breath of fresh air. <laughs> so uh, Matt, how are you today? I'm pretty good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. I have to, I have to thank you very much for coming on. Uh, I know it's not, well, I mean, I feel like it's easy after a while, but it's, you know, the initial, the initial going, the initial getting into it is not um, outside the comfort zone for sure. Yeah. Okay. So what, what drove you to contact me so that we can talk about small things? Well, I, I am a big fan of your podcast and I've listened to most of the episodes and frequently, you know, because in your industry, most people have huge dicks, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, frequently some of the porn stars would talk about big dick problems. I, I remember somebody, it was a few years ago, talking about their dick was so big when they sat down on the toilet, like sometimes it went in the water. And I was like, fuck, that's like crazy. Like I can't even get wrapped around that. And I I had a fuck butt actually who had a small dick and um we were talking, it sort of got, that's how we got started. But, you know, he mentioned, he started talking about some of the problems of, you know, and not even the humiliation thing, but, and, and it was just got me curious because no one ever talks about that mm -hmm. because, you know, men are supposed to not have small dicks. And if they have one, they don't want to talk about it. And they certainly don't want to show anybody. And so, you know, it's, it's just interesting that you never hear that. Whew, I'm trying to, you know, I did a little bit of research. I know um, they always say the average size penis is about six inches. Actually, no, 5.5 .5 inches or something like that. I think they're being a little more generous at this point. But I, I, I remember it always being like six and above, you're okay. Or six and between Are six okay? and, yeah, like between six and seven, oh, you're average. And then after that, it's like colossal. So for the purposes of, of our conversation today, let's say 5.5 .5 or under 5.6 when erect would be small penis, which I, that seems pretty decent still. Yeah. I was going to say, I, you know, if you put out, if you measure inches that, that can do some, that can make some pleasure happen. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> I, I really do. And, and we were talking about this before we started recording. I, I think big dicks, you know, colossal dicks, huge dicks, porn star dicks are very nice to look at. But if I was in a relationship and, you know, it's 8.5, 9 inches every other day or every week, I would probably, my insides would not be very, very happy with me. <laughs> well, they're, they're definitely practical problems, right? Yes, exactly. And uh, I'm one of those people where when I do have to bottom... Or when I do want, I do want to bottom at times, but you know, there are some times where if, like I said, you know, if it's, if it's really big, I, you, you kind of, you kind of don't want to eat the whole day because I, I want to make sure everything is perfect. You want to make sure you show up and there's no messy, uh, you know, there's no mess basically, you know, cause, cause we're all human shit happens. No pun. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you, you want to make sure everything's good. So if you, if you, I feel like if you have somebody that has like, porn star cock as a boyfriend it's just it's it can be detrimental to your diet and lifestyle i think <laughs> it's a lot pun intended yeah yeah so tell me a bit I'm, I'm very i'm fascinated by your fuck buddy okay so your fuck buddy would you say his dick was under 5.6 inches when erect yeah. yeah yeah i would say probably probably three or less or a little bit less. Okay. It was, it was really small. 
what was your initial reaction when you saw it? Because did you see a picture of it beforehand? Was it a hookup? Was it? It's kind of a long story. Our our girlfriends at the time were best friends. Okay. And, you know, and we used to hang out with them. And, you know, if we'd go on vacation, you know, they would go off shopping or whatever. And we'd just hang out for the day. And, you know, we were we were in Las Vegas, actually. And um, we had gone in a, you know, a sex shop. And, you know, we were just, you know, bro laughing shit about, you know, huge dildos and, you know, pictures on you know, DVDs of these, you know, huge guys. And, like, laughing about how you know, that's not exactly us. And, and he mentioned, he said, you know, he mentioned that he was really small. And so, you know, eventually we, we had adjoining hotel rooms and we went back to the hotel eventually and the girls were still out shopping or whatever. And I asked him if I could see it. Cause I, cause he made such a big deal about it, you know, pun not intended. Yeah. Uh, and, so, you know, we're, you know, on vacation, having a couple of whiskeys and he pulls it out to show me. And interestingly, like soft, it was not that surprisingly small, Okay, but when he got hard, it didn't get any bigger. It just moved direction. You know what I mean? It just yeah. moved direction. And that actually is sort of when shit started for us actually that day. But it, it was, you know, it was really small and, you know, actually a small one soft to me, uh, big ones look better soft, mm -hmm. but, but a, a tiny dick hard, oh man, it's it pointing up there and it's, you know, it's usually kind of stubby and it's just, it's perfect, man. It's, oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I, okay. So when you saw it, when you saw, when he, when he pulls out the stick, oh, first of all, too, also, okay, so I'm assuming you're bisexual. Yeah. Oh, okay. We, yeah. All right. We both so, were, yeah. Yo, okay, so you both were. Well, how lucky these girls are. Like, they find the two most bisexual men and they're, they're jerking off and, or, or sucking around in the room. That's, that's actually really cool. I, I would love a friend like that. <laughs> yeah, um, it was pretty good. Yeah. Do you think they were out, uh, you know, they said they were shopping, but they were all over each other as well? Probably not, but oh, okay. who the fuck knows? I've been way too involved in the porn industry. That's that's yeah, how, that's exactly involved. where my mind goes. Porn so. brain buddy. Exactly. <laughs> but anyhow, he pulls it out. I feel like he wanted to show you. Yeah. Right? Okay, so now the, the whiskey's flowing, and he pulls out his, his small dick, and immediately aroused? No, because I'm like, well, it doesn't seem that small. And he said, you know, well, it doesn't really get any bigger. And I thought it was full of shit, right? You know, because I think some guys like have a complex about it, right? Uh -huh. uh, you know, there's always so fucking small. And then when you see it, it's not really. And he said, yeah, what? Well, and he, you know, he went in the other, he went in the bathroom with his phone, put on some porn. And he comes back out with it hard. And it, it wasn't any bigger. It was really small. It was really small. And what, did you, what did you do at that moment? Like, how did, how did this initiate? Like, okay, so his... His dick is out, and he's showing it to you. It's hard. Well, it's only fair to show mine, right? Okay, so you whoop yours out. Yeah, and of course, you know, from this, I'll, like, I got a big boner. So. And then one thing just leads to another, and you guys are all over each other, or? Uh, yeah, I was like, I couldn't believe his was hard, so I grabbed it to see. And, you know, I think that was... It was a long time ago. I'm just trying to think back, but you know, I think that was sort of the first contact, and it was pretty, you know, it was pretty hesitant at first because neither of us had any idea the other was by. Well, you sure knew after that. <laughs> after that afternoon, let me tell you. <laughs> so uh, this started a um, a relationship of sorts. Yeah, I mean, it lasted. You know, we used to fuck around for a little while, and eventually he and his girlfriend moved so we you know we were going to stay in touch and still do things you know with them as a couple but you know my girlfriend and i broke up they moved and you know I, i'm trying to think if we even ever saw them after that after they moved but you know it was months of, you know of us doing stuff on the side we're talking you said three inches or so yeah, no more. So three and a half inches, let's say. No, no. Less. Three max, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to... All right. Hmm. 
and he was hairy. So it, you know, in some ways, it probably didn't help. Looked smaller, yeah, right? It didn't help. What did it feel like in your mouth? Like you were saying about dudes with a big dick you know, mm-hmm. problems, it, a small dick is perfect, man. Like you can deep it the whole way down, mm-hmm. right? All the way down to the, you know, short hairs and that, and swirl it around in your mouth and, you know, lick the bottom of it and lick the head and stuff and no gagging. It just, man, it's like, you know, like a lollipop size, man. It's perfect. And, you know, I would say I'm a top, like talking about it, but um, a couple times I had tried to bottom and it just, I couldn't fucking do it, man. I just couldn't, I just couldn't, but this guy could fuck me and it actually felt good. Okay. It could, you know, just fit, man. And like it was, you know, it could it get, to the, it could get to the place, man, but it wasn't so big that it was painful okay. or, you know, any of that. And did he you mentioned small dick problems did he relay any of them to you yeah well that actually yeah yeah we were you know it sort of was that day when we were leaving the sex shop and laughing about the big dick and you know he said he had a small one and then started talking about you know you know problems and you know like like i never would have thought this but you know he said peeing was a problem like you know if you you know how jeans are thicker right Mm -hmm. And, you know, around sort of, you know, your fly where you unzip, they sort of, because they're thicker, they sort of, you know, bulge out or bend a little bit. Mm-hmm. And he, he couldn't pee through the fly if he had jeans on because it was so small. He like couldn't get it out. Like he couldn't get through all the denim to get it. So he had to like, if he had jeans on, he had to unbutton them and unzip them and pull them down. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, like we don't think of it. It's just yeah. the same it's something that registers to us, but it was like an issue in like in some underwear. Like he was saying because it's so small, he said it sort of hangs in the wrong place and you can't fish it out. You know what I mean? Like like you sort of like go to pee and you sort of Yeah, you put it through the front hole. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. And he was like he could or he even talked once about like his wife had bought him some underwear for his birthday or some shit. I don't know, whatever. And he said, because of the way that, you know, they were cut for a normal guy. And he said on him, they look like diapers because in the front where there was fabric and area, you know, for your dick, he didn't have anything. So he said, I just couldn't wear them. Cause like when I went to put pants on, they just like all bunched up like a diaper. And he found actually, jacking off wasn't really a pleasurable experience because he couldn't couldn't grip right exactly and he could he only could get like a finger on it and he said you can't get too much you know sensation or friction from a finger okay all right yeah, it's interesting all yeah, right it's no, like shit I, you never thought about and i, I i'm not laughing to laugh at him no, and no. i know funny enough i know that there you know i mentioned sph small penis humiliation i'm sure somebody out there that would be listening to this is probably getting hard by laughing at it but i'm not laughing that I'm, I'm laughing out of uh i'm trying to understand i'm trying to wrap my head around this you're, you're laughing because it's something that you never consider before because yeah. i was the same way when i heard i was like you're shitting me but, you know, so when you start thinking about it, and then, you know, as I got to know him better, you know, we started messing around. He liked to top guys, but he couldn't top a lot of guys. Because, you know, like if you think like a vagina is right there at the edge yeah. of the skin, right? Yeah. But but your ass is like... You, you got to get through cheeks. Yeah, you got to get through cheeks. There you go. I was trying to figure out how to say it. <laughs> My cheeks aren't too deep, so he could... If I sat on it, it would work. Okay. That's the only way it would work. But he said most guys, he could barely get it, the tip in, like through the cheeks. And then when he started to pump, it just came out. And, it, you know, so he just sort of bottomed most of the time because structurally that's all that would work. Now, did he talk to you about his, his girlfriend, uh, later his wife, and how she felt about it? So he said they never really talked about it much, but he he could tell that it it didn't necessarily it wasn't the most satisfying experience for her because he said you know you know her reaction was 
totally different. You know, she would, of course, play along, but he said he really felt like when he used his fingers or something, you could really tell when she was engaged in a different way than he could ever provide with his dick. I think that was hard for him, actually. Was he a little bigger? Did that contribute like, to loss? Like of, heavy? Yeah, was mean, he a heavy set guy? Yeah, I know what you're asking. Uh-huh. It's sort of yes and no. He He wasn't thin. But he also wasn't like seriously overweight or yeah. like really heavy. Like it wasn't contributing to the fact because they, they say that uh, for every 10 pounds we're overweight, there's an inch of our dick inside of us or something like that. Oh, I've, shit. I've, I've heard it. I have to, uh, I'll verify that. But I, that's a, I, I'm. That's a very modern thing to say. I've heard. <laughs> well, well, I, you know why? Because I want to, uh, allegedly, let me say that. I, I know I've read it somewhere, but I, I do have to verify that. I don't want to. Just, you know, put shit out there. And, but I have heard uh, for every 10 pounds, you lose an inch of your dick size. Well, it's a, so here's probably a little overweight, but I'm not like, like hugely overweight. When you guys hooked up, was this your first small penis experience? Yes. How, what was that like? Like looking up at him and seeing him either in pleasure or being like, oh, I don't like it like this, I like that, I like it. Like, what was that experience like? Um, I'm not sure exactly you understand what you're asking. I mean, I, I personally, like the first time I saw it hard, I was like, holy shit, that's really sexy. And it surprised me because I, you know, because I'd seen guys with small dicks like in the, you know, at the gym or, you know what I mean? You just, you know, you're or whatever. But it was the, I think it was probably the first time I ever saw a dude hard with a tiny dick like that. I don't know. Like inside of me, like like the electricity went off, you know. Yeah. Like, and then you know, like I said, like when I put my mouth on it, it was like it just, you know, it's perfect. It just fit in there perfectly. It just I could do all the things I imagined doing, but couldn't do other times because there was too much to work with, or it's maybe gag, or I couldn't get it all in, or you know, any of that. So you were you were personally enjoying your experience. Oh, really enjoying it. Okay. And I think it was it was different for him to not because I think he didn't he said to me at one point he didn't feel self conscious about it. That's what that's what I was getting at. It's basically Because I was getting off on it and not like I, I guess I can say some of the shit he would admire, although what his chances he hears this, but you know, he was saying how all the time when he has sex like his brain split and part of it is you know trying to enjoy it but part of it is like trying to see if the other person mm-hmm. is is into it or not or if they're miserable because his dick is so small and you know and he felt like with me he could just totally let go and have a good time because clearly you know i was i was really into it that probably felt really good and that's what i meant by like you know if you were looking up at him and seeing him enjoy the experience as well. Yeah, but I never knew him in any other light. Okay. Right, right. So like, it's not like I had seen him before not enjoying it. Did he ever talk to you about surgery or correcting something? Or was it ever that that much of a problem he, for him? Uh, he never mentioned it. It never occurred to me. You could have surgery to change the length of it. I guess so. I just never... It's never struck me. I mean, I think it's still in the early stage. Well, I mean, it's it's there. Uh, I I don't know if I do anything in that area. I've met porn stars just recently. I I, I was on a shoot, and these guys are like eight point five, and they're like, "Yeah, I want to get this shot, and it'll make it bigger." And I'm like, "How much more bigger do you need this to be?" Like at this point, it's great. You guys are great. There's no reason for any of that. But do you think that's because their career depends on it, or their de- their whole? I, I, I know what you're saying. Is, it, 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 their, it's their, it's their currency. It. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, right. it's how they make their living. I don't think so. I think after I, it could be, I think it could be for a couple of guys, but, but it's their identity. I guess that's what I meant. Yeah. But it, it's kind of like the same with, with face work or plastic surgery. If you're, if you're famous, if you if it's your identity and you change what your identity looks like altogether, then you're not really that that person anymore. It's not your identity mm-hmm. anymore. And I think the same can be said with dicks. I've seen people go a little too crazy with silicone and then they can't even use it. It just, it kind of just hangs. And that's a, that's a fetish too, a silicone fetish fetish. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but you look up some videos on silicone dicks and there are people 
who have gone just a little too far when it comes to injecting themselves with, with silicone in such a sensitive area. I have no idea. I have to give me something to look at next time I'm online. Speaking of being online, do you watch porn? And specifically, do you look for porn featuring men with small dicks? I watch some porn. I'm always on the lookout for a small dick, but you almost never see it except in humiliation videos. And it's not, the humiliation thing isn't, doesn't, isn't a thing for me. These videos, you know, humiliating some guy because his dick is small, it doesn't really do anything for me. Apparently it's a thing that the guys with the small dicks are into it too. Right, right. Which I guess, you know, obviously if it's a fetish, there's definitely, uh, I don't know, it, it goes very deep very very deep and i'd love to love to have somebody to talk to about that as well at some point it would be interesting yeah but that's for another episode we're here to talk about your love of small dicks <laughs> you but now okay so you don't love you don't just love small dicks like you you could enjoy men of average sizes and above average sure okay yeah. have you ever other than this gentleman that you hooked up with have you have you come across other guys with small penises and been surprised and said, Oh wow, this is great. Yeah. A few times. And and it's funny because there's, you know, they're all a little self-conscious about it. And, you know, know, there's that moment, right? The reveal Uh and they, you know, and they, you know, pull it out and they're like, Oh, and I'm like, so totally fucking like crazy into it. And at first they think I'm just being polite always across the board. Like, ah, it's really small, or you know, and so they realize that I'm not shit and I'm like really down. Yeah, it's, it's always interesting, but yeah, because people are across the board apologetic about it, which sucks, you know, like it's not their yeah, fault, it, it just it just happened. And like you said, it's in some ways more useful than others. I don't think I've seen anything under, I would say, four inches. But I will, I will keep my eyes peeled. Like I'm looking, I'm, I have stuff open now. I've been doing like, like minimal research because I have heard of it. But predominantly, a lot of the porn that does show up is uh, humiliation. There's a an amateur guy on Chatterbait that is middle aged and is a huge muscular, huge muscular dude, and he has a teeny tiny little dick, and. I feel like I could watch him for hours and I think he's into the humiliation thing, okay. but, which is not for me, but just the side of this big, thick, huge muscle dude with this little teeny tiny is, yeah, it's amazing to me. When you see that automatically, do you just, your heart starts racing again and, and it's, it's a turn on it's a, yeah, just like any other thing that turns people on. But yeah, my heart races, my dick starts to get hard, you know, I sort of lose my mind for a minute. <laughs> That's really cool. I have to look up this guy. I did see not necessarily small dicks, but, uh, it's always interesting. Cause I, I, you know, I listen to people or I, f- I follow people on Twitter and I've seen, you know, there's always some black dudes and everybody always assumes that black guys have like this huge dick whenever they're porn stars and stuff. But I met a couple that have just an average size dick and, and they get made fun of for it sometimes. And they're like, and and so, nothing to make fun of too. This is like six and a half, six right. inches is, is fine. Like you can do just fine with that, you know? So are, are they, because you know and see more than any of us in the porn industry. Are there any guys with really small dicks in the porn industry? Or do they, you think they are just not accepted? Or do they not even pursue it because they know they're small and it would be, you know, and a non-starter i've seen small dicks and usually uh not micro penis not small like that but they're a lot of them tend to bottom mm-hmm. a lot of them tend to bottom but it's not i mean i can say small because of what we're selling in thing, porn right, yeah. you know we're, we're selling the tops the bottoms the bottoms they get they should get a little more credit because they are doing a lot of the work too but we're selling the tops. Everybody wants to be that bottom. Everybody wants to get fucked. Everybody wants, like, that's the fantasy. The bigger the dick, the better. But the minute they see it in person, it's a different story. But, but like, Yeah, I never thought of it that you sell tops. But yeah, you're right. Nowadays, especially, I feel like the mentality 
I guess it really just depends on where you're going. You know, obviously, if you if you like Twinks, a lot of them are going to be bottoms and you sell the bottom. If you're watching Treasure Island, if you're watching Raw Fuck Club, if you're watching, uh, what's that studio and Tim Tales, if you're watching, a lot of the guys just tend to have big dicks. And when you see people on Twitter, when you see people, when you're engaging in social media, everything that gets retweeted is usually these guys with humongous dicks. I think Just, that's why I tend to watch amateur porn more. Because it's real. <laughs> well, there's that. Yeah. But also, you know, you're liable to run across somebody who's smaller. I think it's healthy to see that, especially because we know not everybody has a porn star dick. They, you know, the, uh, Atlas Grant. I always, I refer to him a lot on the podcast, but he, he calls, he says, there's a difference. There's boyfriend dick and then there's porn star dick. Boy, <laughs> boyfriend dick is, you know, you can take it. You're, you're fine. You can probably eat something beforehand and you'll be okay. Uh, and then porn star dick is the kind that you starve for a day and, <laughs> uh, Can't imagine that. yeah. And then you eat afterwards. It's, it's the nature of what we live in at the moment. I think I'm glad to have this conversation because it's different. It's different. I, I think that it's uh, healthy, just like everything else with every other fetish or with every other kink. I would assume that there would be people out there that do like not just humiliating small dicks, but enjoy small dicks. Yeah. When was the last time that you've had a small dick in your mouth or in your hands or have hooked up with a small dick? And would you do it again? Um, I would definitely do, do it again, given the opportunity. It's probably, it's probably been a little while. You know, I kind of feel like like random hookups are more complicated. Nowadays. Nowadays, yeah. Um, and, you know, my schedule is such that I have a little less flexibility than I did at another time in my life. And, you know, with the COVID thing, and I, I think random hookups are. So it's probably been, it's probably been a couple of years, a few years. Yeah, I can't even sort of tell you the last time I had a small dick hookup. Um, most mostly there, and nobody advertises, so it's always like a surprise. Okay, I was gonna say, do you do you put that in in your profile? Do you put that you're a fan of small dicks or anything like that? I haven't actually, and oftentimes some of my hookup stuff is more anonymous than even like using apps or stuff. So like the no advertised hookup. So, you know, you get what you get and, you know, and, and I, I haven't the couple of times I've, I've actually advertised mentioned it. I don't know why. Um, it, I just, yeah, I just usually don't go into too much detail. Unless I'm just looking to get off quick. So most guys don't advertise it. Like scroll through whatever site you use and see how many guys, you know, advertise they have a small dick unless they're into the humiliation thing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Nobody, nobody. Mm-hmm. And if they, you know, if they're posting pictures of their, their dick, it's not because it's tiny. Let's say you were in a sauna or a video room, right? Mm-hmm. And, and there's two guys there, one semi-attractive and well to you some semi-attractive to you one's incredibly hot and you know he's hot he's about eight and a half inches and the other guy that's semi-attractive is about two and a half to three inches who are you going to go to first the guy with the little dick really yeah so it's 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 not even the package it's just it's the package (laughs) yeah because you know you know now if if one guy is hot with a huge dick and one guy is really not attractive to me at all. Like, really doesn't. The small dick will not overcome that. Okay. But I'm, I'm assuming you mean sort of average. Yeah. You know, looking to me. Yeah, I would go for the small one. Okay. But, yeah. But you'd still pay attention to the other guy too, right? I would notice he was there. Absolutely. <laughs> and if he wanted to join in, I would not turn him away. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Like, do you have anything that you would want to see in porn, if I if I come across models, because I, I, I do, you know, unfortunately, part of casting and doing porn that's looking for a specific 
<laughs> niche uh, is seeing pictures of models that don't have adequate enough uh, equipment. Yeah, e- equipment to get the job done for for porn. Let's say, right? But yeah, what would you like to see? You know what? What I would like to see, most people would not like to see. So you're never going to get it made, right? Well, so how it, do you know? You know, I mean, well, yeah, well, you know, it, it would turn me on to see a dude with like a four inch hard dick in a porn, and yeah, that would be great. I'll, I'll look for it. Let me know. Drop me a note, and you know. And even sometimes breaking stereotypes and him being the top. Yeah. Well, see, that's, that would be the part that's, that's, uh, for, for working for a studio as opposed to working independently, mm-hmm. that's where it gets a little tricky. But, sure. but I, I have absolutely come across tops who suck on small dick bottoms and, uh, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah. I, I'll, I will look at some of the scenes that I've shot and, and if I find that, I will absolutely let you know. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. I'd, be, I'd be interested to, for a couple of reasons to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And if I do come across something now, you are on my Instagram, and I do tend to send along some research whenever I'm doing stuff. And I do, I, I absolutely consider it research, especially for this season. Uh, I've watched so much porn, so much in, in, incredible amounts of porn, and not even for like jerk off material. It was just. I was just about to say, like, do you ever get <laughs> off to it? Oh, well, absolutely. There's definitely. Season four of the podcast is more history. And um, that came across by this book that I read, but also, you know, I'm running, not, not that I'm running out of models, but I've, I've had a couple of issues with models not showing up or dissing me and I've flown to places and stuff. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to do something that's a little more, you know, if I'm going to demystify gay porn, let's figure out where all this came from. The first part is about cult studio and Jim French and, uh, pinup ads and and just people that risked their lives and their livelihood to put to yeah. to do stuff that was gay erotica uh, mm-hmm. at the time right, yeah. and and for me that's more fascinating than the saturated world that we're living in now. People that got us to where we are today, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So let's. I'm, I'm trying to think of a a good question to close the interview out with. Yeah. Well, I, I, I would just say while well, we're you know we're we're having that what you what do you want to see? Yeah, yeah. And a small dick without it being about humiliation. I, I know this sounds so fucking weird, but honoring the small dick and not like there being shame around it, like somebody saying, "Wow, that's really you know fucking hot" or something, instead of there being trash talk around it. Okay. Yeah, but even if you run across a clip with a small one in it, I'd love to see it. Yeah, no, like I, it's so rare to see. <laughs> like I said, you know, I'll 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 find the small clip. Like uh, there's you, there's another guy who loves underwear that I spoke to on the podcast. There's, you know, the armpits. There's all this stuff. Whenever I see something that I know that someone I spoke to will like, I will I will absolutely copy and paste that link and awesome. send it on over. <laughs> Uh, I have to thank you very much for sharing a piece of who you are, what you, what you've experienced and what, what you like in this episode, especially talking about something like uh, small dicks and small dick problems and stuff that you've experienced, not small dicks that are your experience. However, being turned on by them. Thanks. It was, it was actually really interesting to talk about it in a way I hadn't anticipated. This might be the first episode, but it won't be the last episode for sure. I will look into it more. Because it's, right, it's now it's now opened my eyes to it, so I absolutely appreciate this conversation. You've been listening to Demystifying Gay Porn. I am your host Ike Grande. Demystifying Gay Porn can be found on every podcast directory as well as YouTube. Demystifying Gay Porn is on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Telegram. If you like what you're watching and want to be a part of the process, head over to Patreon.com/backslash Demystifying Gay Porn where you can help this YouTube channel and I can continue making content like this. Once again, this is Demystifying Gay Porn. My name is Ike Grande. And if you watch gay porn, I've definitely helped you get off. Cheers.